Welcome back, Sethling here. And today I want to show you a new redstone contraption that I hired Dr. Brian Lorgon 111 to build for me. It's an instant replay system. All right, so we have a parkour course here, right? Uh, I kind of missed the first jump, but basically I'm supposed to jump onto that slime block and then onto the fences. Let's back up and try it again. All right, I made it. All right, now we have a fence jump. Uh, it's four blocks. I kind of hate these things. Okay, I made it. Ooh. Fireworks, cool. And then the last jump here is really easy. You win, cool. So obviously that's a really easy parkour course. It's just to demonstrate though, the concept. Uh, now I'm just gonna open up the chat, click on watch instant replay, click. And we'll get to see exactly what I did. Uh, so we have kind of a zombie, he's looking over to the side to see the fence. Uh, backs up, makes the jump. And uh, you'll notice he's looking where I looked, he's looking kind of down. Makes the makes the fence jump. When the firework happened, it you know you don't see the firework in the replay, but he looked up and he looks at the sign. And so yeah, it's an instant replay. He did exactly what I did. Uh, let's take let's go to into spectator mode and take a look at what's happening. You might have already figured it out. Uh, <laughs> looks really cool actually. So there's armor stands. These armor stands you'll notice are tracking the exact path that I took. Uh, the more solid it is, the longer I stood there, right? So I stood here for a while, um, I stood still over here for a while, because there's just more armor stands, and that decreases the opacity. So these armor stands have scoreboard values that track how far into the instant replay they are. And then when I replay the, uh, the uh, I guess the attempt, the, uh, the zombie gets teleported from one armor stand to the next very quickly in order to reenact the events. And so let's... Let's actually go ahead and click it again, watch instant replay, and a new zombie will get summoned in. You can see he's following exactly the path that the, uh, the armor stands are in. He's just getting teleported, but that actually causes the leg animation to happen too, just because of the way that mobs are rendered in Minecraft and by the client. And so that's pretty much how it works. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Brian Lorgon 111 again for, uh, for building this for me. And hopefully it gives you guys some ideas, some of the map makers out there, some ideas for cool things to do with armor stands. Otherwise, that's about it. Thanks for watching.